everyone, what's up? Aren't you glad that we all live in the 21st century? Pretty soon, our houses are just going to take care of everything we do. In fact, we have a sneak preview of that kind of awesome technology featuring the Yeedy Mop Pro on this episode of Good Tech Cheap. What's up and welcome to this episode of Good Tech Cheap. I'm your host Kevin. Uh, please do me a favor if you are watching and you like these videos please give this one a like. Also I'll invite you to subscribe to the Good Tech Cheap channel and if you do that turn on that notification bell so you know when we drop more episodes of Good Tech Cheap. So as I mentioned 21st century technology is now springing up all around us and a really great example of that kind of automated technology that's going to help you around the house is the Yeedy Mop Station Pro. This is a brand new uh, vacuum and mop combination fully automatic station that is programmable from your phone that actually maps your house using GPS style technology and gives you that deep clean that we've all been wanting for such a long time. There are a lot of features on the Yeedy Mop Station Pro. I'm going to list some of them for you right now. Uh, unlike a lot of other robot vacuums, we're dealing with a dual power spin mop system. This is a vacuum and mop that is a two in one. Also, the mopping pads are self cleaning. Now, that is something that you don't have to get your hands dirty with, and that's something that's going to change the way you clean your house. The Mop Station Pro also features smart visual mapping. A 750 milliliter extra large swabbing dustbin. It'll cling closer and clean better than any other manual or robot vacuum. The two mopping pads that I mentioned are triple layer. They actually have a force that presses them with 10 newtons uh, down onto the floor. This is pressing down with 10 newtons of force. And that makes a difference. Not only that, but the vacuum spins with 180 revolutions a minute. That's massive cleaning power in a small package. With all that technology, you're gonna wipe away the most annoying stains with ease. And as I mentioned, it is self-cleaning, that is right. The Yeedy Mop Station Pro will automatically clean your mopping brushes. There are two tanks in the base station. One uh, is water that is used to clean, so that will become dirty. Another is fresh water that is gonna be used for your cleaning purposes. You never have to worry about cross-contamination. ED self-cleaning tech will actually wash the mopping pads every 10 minutes, so you never have to worry about it. It'll even dry them for you and turn off when drying is complete. That's right, hands-free, hassle-free. This technology has arrived. Not only that, but your Yeedy Mop Station Pro features carpet detection technology. This will turn off your mop when carpet is detected and switch on vacuum mode and maximize that to ensure maximum cleaning. And how strong is that carpet cleaning mode? Why, it's 3000 Pascal units strong, and that is very powerful for a robot vacuum or any other vacuum for that matter. That 3000 PA or Pascal unit suction power is gonna be strong enough to pick up any dirt from your carpet or your floor. And I was mentioning the app, that's right, there is an app with that. You're actually gonna be able to program it to clean in straight lines. You're gonna be able to schedule it. You're gonna be able to create a custom cleaning path through your house, through your apartment, through your office, or through any space that this vacuum can fit into. And given its size, it can fit into a lot of spaces. It's very ergonomic in its design, and it packs a lot of features and a lot of power, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. That's right, and that editable home map is gonna allow you to control your cleaning with just your fingertips and your phone. Your ED Mop Station Pro is also compatible with a lot of voice activated assistants that you have around the house. Uh, Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home all work for voice control. All right, so we have our station already plugged in. I turned the vacuum on. I placed it in the station so it can start charging. The next step is to download the app so I can continue setup on my smartphone and to fill the fresh water tank. And both of these tanks just left right out, as you can see. And you're supposed to fill them 
for that max line. So we'll do that in just a moment. Install the mopping pads on the vacuum itself. And then we'll do a little bit of a demo on our kitchen floor. All right, everyone. So we have our vacuum and docking station already set up and I've shown you that. We're gonna do the next steps to actually get everything up and running. Now, I've already downloaded the app, it's on my phone. Uh, you have two options on how to do that. There's a QR code on the vacuum itself, uh, or you can find it in the instruction book that comes with it. Once you download, pairing is very easy. You can do it manually, but I prefer to do it automatically. All you do is open up the QR code that comes with the app. Once that is installed on your phone, let the, let the vacuum's camera, it's right there, scan it, and pairing is instantaneous uh, once you've connected to your Wi-Fi network at home. So all those steps have already been done. The vacuum is ready to go. We're just gonna do a couple final things to be able to do a mopping demo for all of you out there right now. And we're gonna start by filling up the fresh water tank. back into the fresh tank section. Just make sure that I orient it properly, like so. Over here is your disposal tank. We're gonna leave this empty because water that has already been used is going to go in this tank after your mop brushes are cleaned. And wastewater from the mopping process also goes right in here. And we are going to apply the mop pads, which is a very easy step to do. Switch to vacuum and mopping mode. There we go. Switch to vacuum Check that and out. mopping mode. Alright. You can see right here. So this is our mop technically right now. And we followed every step of the instructions. We're on it. We are essentially good to go. Later on. reminder. Later on we're going to use this dust bin in place of uh, the mop bin. We're going to be able to show you how this works. Uh, there's a filter built in right there uh, which you can clean with water over your sink and let dry after every use or as needed. And here's your 750 milliliter space that will actually be a lot larger than many other comparable vacuums at a higher price. Much capacity to use here for dust cleaning on hardwood floors and on carpeted floors. Let's get started. As you can see here, the 10 newtons of pressure that the mop brushes are able to provide offer a lot more contact with the floor surface. You can see how thoroughly the mopping feature is working.
All right, now we are going to demonstrate the power that the ED mop had on our kitchen floor. It looked like it was clean, and I did do a demonstration where I spilled a couple things on purpose that were cleaned up. But what amazes me is that parts of the floor that I thought were clean <laughs> were not. That is what it was able to pick up. And so we just want to empty our wastewater bin by opening the clasp, opening the top, and pouring it out. All right, so we've had our vacuum return to the home base where the mop brushes have been cleaned and dried. Let's take a look at what that looks like. There they are. Not bad. And they were very dirty, as you recall, from my floor after our dinner party. So this is neat that it does everything automatically. All right, well now, we are going to go into vacuum mode. How does that sound? So we're gonna to wanna to remove our mop component. We're gonna put that off to the side over here. We're going to add our edge brush. We're gonna do that right there. There we go. And then we're gonna add filter already included so we can do a vacuum demo. Snaps right in the place. We are good to go. And there you have it. It works seamlessly from my app. The app was easy to use. Setup of the base station and the robot vacuum were both super simple. And as you can see, that mopping and that cleaning power are very impressive. There it is, link in the description below if you want to get one for yourself or as a gift or just to find out more. Once again, click on that link. Well, I think that just about wraps it up for today. I'd like to thank Yidi for sponsoring this video and sending us the Mop Station Pro so we could demonstrate it, unbox it, and go through all the features and share all of that with all of you out there. I'd like to remind you once again, if you like this video, please give us a like. And if you like videos about Good Tech Cheap, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when we drop our next video. Well, I've been your host, Kevin. Thank you so much for watching. For now, uh, stay safe, be kind, and I will see you next time.